Rewind that real quick. <laughs> Leaving everybody confused, this man really got down on his knees, started crawling and barking towards this guy. I don't know what their coach was thinking or what anyone else was thinking, but hey, the play worked. I can only assume they got the inspiration from this other classic dog barking play. Here it is in regular motion. It's just a shame that we can't use that play again. I honestly can't believe both these plays actually worked. The white team was so confused, they allowed a wide open layup and lost the game because of it. Honestly, the guy barking was wide open. He could have just got the ball and taken the shot himself. But hey, a free layup is always better, right? Well, if you thought those two dog barking plays were the only two in history, and I hate to say it since they are so dumb, you'd be wrong. I'm done. I'm done. I can't do it, bro. This is really happening in a basketball game. They're barking like dogs, bro. Oh. As soon as the play starts, you can hear a loud go, which you can only assume was the coach. The kid then gets down on his knees and hands and proceeds to woof on the floor. Everyone is distracted by it and it results in an easy layup. Honestly, I can't even be mad at this. This is the third time it's happened now, and the third time it's worked. The play has a 100% success rate, and at that rate, maybe NBA players should start taking notes. Trick plays don't happen too often in basketball. With the fast-paced action and the limited space, it just really isn't too much of a viable option. But when they do, it's some of the funniest things you'll see. Like for example, do y'all remember Marcelo Huertes, the guy whose NBA career is best defined as the guy who attempted a backward shot that one time? Yeah, that guy. While he didn't have much highlights since he was mostly being highlighted on, he did do probably one of the funniest, but honestly, one of the smartest plays I've ever seen. Tell me, in this image, can you spot Marcelo? You have 5 seconds. Well, do you see him? If you do, congrats. If not, well, don't worry. None of the players saw him either. And that's because he's right here, hiding behind Eric Spolstra. Then, all of a sudden, Marcelo then runs from behind Spolstra back onto the floor without anyone seeing him, comes from behind and steals it right from Goran Dragic. I honestly haven't seen a smarter play ever in my life. I'm surprised more players don't try hiding mid-game for a steal. Like, that's a guaranteed steal every single time. But seriously, this was actually attempted in a professional game. It can't get any funnier than that. What inspired this video was what happened just a few days ago. It was the Lakers vs Warriors preseason game and JaVale had an idea that was probably the most JaVale thing to do. Than anybody else playing next Tuesday, the Warriors open the regular season a week from tomorrow against the Clippers at the brand new Chase Center in San Francisco. Here's McGee from Davis. Five After a closer look, it really does look like JaVale hit his knee, but it obviously didn't hurt him to the extent that he made it seem like. Draymond thinking JaVale was injured went to double AD. But miraculously, JaVale is healed and is wide open for the dunk, leaving Draymond confused and the Lakers laughing. After the game, JaVale had to say this. So I hit my knee, I really hit my knee, and it hurt. But I went out of bounds and I saw Draymond guarding on AD, and I was like, forget the pain, I'm gonna go get these buckets. <laughs> so I just ran back in and got a dunk. But I really did bump my head. I don't really mess with like faking injuries. <laughs> Because injuries are real, so I don't really like faking injuries, so I didn't fake it. I didn't everybody know. I really didn't hit my knee, but I sucked it up like a real, like a real man I am. <laughs> this wasn't the only time a player faked an injury. Back in 2013, in Vince Carter's 
57th season in the league, he took a shot and acted like he hurt his ankle. He even went as far as signaling that he was hurt. It fooled Harrison Barnes and he left Vince wide open. But little did Golden say no, Vince was completely fine, he cut to the basket and got a free dunk. All while the Golden State crowd was booing him. Was it a decoy? And him flexing on him. That's pretty savage of Vince. But watching these players fake injuries is entertaining. But let's just hope it doesn't get to the level of soccer. In a complete blowout between the Raptors and Clippers, all seemed normal. The winning team usually just dribbles the ball out. But Karan Butler had different ideas. He tried shaking Jonas Valanciunas' hand and stole the ball and caught a free layup, much to the dislike of the crowd. This was probably one of the more pointless trick plays since it didn't even mean anything but it did mean something to his FanDuel owners since that one play could have won them a lot of money. So you know, sign up for FanDuel and get your free $20 for depositing 20. Maybe you could have won $100,000 just from that play. Link is in the description and the comments. So one of the more common trick plays is this. I'm out right here. And Andre Miller does and he fakes the timeout and scores. The Hornets were already to the huddle. Yes, the fake timeout play. This play only works if you're the only one in on it, since your teammates really have to act like a timeout is being called to really sell it. And that's exactly how it always happens. Everyone, they just stopped playing, and then they realized they didn't call the timeout. Harrison Barnes got caught right in. Somebody's got to take a timeout. It might as well be me. No, Miller fakes the timeout, and they're going to count that on a goaltend. Didn't pay it off, however. Oh, my goodness. This next clip, I can't even explain. So the opening tip is about to happen, and everything seems normal, right? Blue team tips the ball to their side, but wait, a player in white gets it. He walks towards blue team's basket. The other team initially tries to run to him, but he turns around, making literally everyone on the court confused. Then he calmly turns back around and slowly walks for an easy bucket. Seriously, this guy didn't have to confuse literally everyone on the court like that. He could have just got the easy layup to begin with, but he had to flex on everyone by confusing them. This wasn't the only time where a team forgot which side of the basket is theirs. I don't know how it happens, but it does. Strong in the third quarter, outscoring teams 329. Wow. And some confusion by yeah, the Blue definitely. Devils defending the wrong end of the floor to begin the third quarter. The worst part about this is, it's actually happened in the NBA. In a two-point game between the Lakers and the New Orleans Hornets, the Lakers were set to inbound the ball, but they decided to set up on the opposite side of the basket they were shooting on. This confused every Hornet player, and they decided to defend the wrong basket. Kobe takes advantage of this and runs to the correct basket for the easy dunk. Yo, like seriously? This is a professional basketball game. That was only a two point difference. How in the world do you forget which basket to defend in a two point game with only 25 seconds left? Man, I know those fans were not happy about that. Like most trick plays, it requires you to leave your opponent confused. Take this play for example. It's the perfect execution of one. The players acted like they were about to hike a football it grabbed the entire opposing team's attention, which left one player open, then the pass, and the dunk. All for an amazing trick play. Now for the most common trick play in basketball, the off the back inbound play. This somehow always results in a score, 
And I'm surprised the defending teams never realize the inbounder can just throw it off their back for an easy score. Challenge the out of bounds pass. I always think that when you challenge the out of bounds pass, it's much more difficult. For Simmons picking up some loose change. And handoff. Oh, Aaron Gordon pulled the old to throw it off the back oh. of the opposing team, catch it, and lay it in. I haven't <laughs> seen that. To throw that pass perfectly so it comes back to you, you got to get both feet inbounds. So Pretty inbounds play of the Suns by seven. I'm just trying to make it too small. This pass off the back. This is smart basketball. Ridden hours asleep. Jamal Tinsley wide awake. Foul. Well, Wade's looking at trying to help and. Rondo makes a smart play, but Mike. Oh, six mark of the quarter. Westbrook, the buzzer got it. Back. Anyways, last of video for today. Sign up for FanDuel and receive a free $20 for depositing 20. You have a chance to win $100,000 every single day. Links are in the description and the comments. And as always, guys. I'm Handles, until next time.